Today is Friday. Happy New Year. It is January the 1st. I am your host, Casey Phoenix. I don't know if I said I was doing an episode today or not, but um, yeah, I'm doing an episode today. So here I am. <laughs> it's kind of crazy because as, as you know, those who listen to my podcast, you know that I usually do my episodes in the evening time. But I'm doing it in the morning. I'm doing this episode first, and then I'm going to do my episode for my other channel a little bit later because I I want to get some administrative stuff out the way. And also, I want some time to me today just to sort of enjoy the New Year Day and, and do that as I'm mapping out some of the things that I want to do. I I had a conversation last night again with the universe, God, higher power, goddess, whatever you want to refer to it as. And I made my intentions clear and claimed the things that I'm looking to do and expand on. I really, really am glad that it's a new day. It is really a new day. And for also for those who have been following, you know that tarot card readings will be a supplement to the Keeping It Real with KC show. You can file it under entertainment, I guess, and and do that. And I thought it would be appropriate because that was on my mind to bring up two cards for today. Anytime for someone who isn't familiar with tarot, and I'm trying to do this, there we go, because the light was on it. If you see this card, it's the death card. For someone who isn't familiar with tarot, as soon as they see the death card, they're like, oh my God, someone's going to die. No, (laughs) that's not it. That's not it. Actually, the death card is one of the more favorable cards in the deck. It is about transformation. It is about ending things and then things beginning again. And usually it's through a forced situation where um, you're moving. It can be if it could be related to moving or you're starting a new job, you're ending friendships. Death, the death card is ruled, is related to the sign, astrological sign of Scorpio. So, and for those of you who don't know, and Scorpios, they can be a piece of work, but you know, you got to love them. My, my fellow water signs. And, and also my mother's a Scorpio too. But one thing about Scorpios, make no mistake. A Scorpio will drop you like a bad habit and will not have any problem moving on and never thinking about it again. They can be very emotional and they are, um, they can be loyal to. Scorpios can be loyal to if they're into you like that. But one thing that I, all of the Scorpios I've come across in my lifetime, they will just <laughs> drop drop whatever, whoever, and, and move on to the next thing. It's like, okay, life goes on. They have no problem with leaving the past in the past. With this death card, this is how you can, again, look at 2020. 2020 is dead. Now, There's another card in the deck that is an interesting card. This card is judgment, is what this is. This card isn't related to a specific astrological sign. And for these cards, they can, of course, be different designs and be different things. This particular one, it has someone on um, blowing into a trumpet, I believe that is. And then you see the spirits flying around it and things like that. 
in another um, tarot deck is where the angel is blowing the trumpet and then the people are rising up out of the caskets and stuff. And, and it can be different from tarot deck to tarot deck to tarot deck, which is the cool thing about them. But with judgment, it's related to death. The judgment card is related to the planet of Pluto. Guess what planet rules Scorpio? Which, by the way, Scorpio is um, one of the few signs that has two ruling planets. Because uh, just a little side information. The ruling planet of Scorpio was Mars. And then Pluto was discovered later. And then Pluto became Scorpio's ruling planet in place of Mars. So they have two, but for it's known for Pluto. Pluto is also the god of death known as Hades as well, depending on which mythology you follow, because there's Greek and there's Roman. But the thing about this is, is that this is transformation. This is about second chances. Death is about transformation, something being dropped, something being ended. This is about second chances, is what judgment is. You've been given a second chance, unless it comes out in the reverse. But I, I don't plan on reading reversals. Now, if I see something else in the deck that implies that the energy would be different from a second chance, I would tell you. But for the most part, when the judgment card is in the upright, it means second chances. I don't know if anybody's familiar with the Christmas Carol, a Christmas Carol. And with Ebenezer Scrooge, he is visited by these spirits. The final spirit to visit him is death. That's the final spirit to visit him. And it shows him because that's what the ghost of the future it shows him what his future is. But at the same time, when Ebenezer Scrooge sees the error of his ways, the error of his ways, as death is passing judgment on him, and he's like, hey, I, I get it now. I get it. Then, of course, he wakes up, finds out he has a second chance. Judgment was passed and he was given a second chance. That's what that is. It was a new day for him when he woke up. That's what this is for you on January the 1st. It's a new day. And a new year, if you want to look at it that way. But I always tell people, just take things day by day. You can, of course you can plan. You want to plan things. But, I don't want to use the word but. <laughs> However, being in the moment and taking things day by day that's usually the best thing to do. You can lay out a map of what you would prefer to happen on such and such date. But you have to remember that no day is promised. Today isn't promised. Some people may have been here on December 31st, but didn't make it to January the 1st. I mean, it's just true. So you take things day by day. But as for the year 2020, do like Scorpios do. That's why this card is related to Scorpios. It's related to Scorpios for a reason. Scorpios have no problem letting something go. Even 
if they want to hold on. If they feel it is in their best interest to do it, they will do it. And more than likely, that that's it. It won't be visited again. So now that 2020 is gone, 2020 is dead. <laughs> it's gone. You have the opportunity to move on and do something new because judgment has been passed and you've received a second chance because you made it through 2020. It's a new day. So now that judgment has been passed and you've been given a second chance, what are you going to do with it? Will you do the same things you did in 2020 and 2019? Or will you do something different? Again, 2020 will be 2021 will be the year of sowing. And in 2022, this is going to come around again. But also, you know what? There's another thing. Hold on. I'm about to go in my deck real quick. Give me a second to... For those watching, I'm giving visuals here today. <laughs> here we go. 2022 is going to be about this card. Justice. Justice is um, affiliated with the sign of Libra. The scales being balanced. Karma. So... While 2020 is gone, it's dead, death to 2020, you made it through 2020, judgment was passed, judgment was passed, you made it through 2020, you're in 2021, 2020 is gone, so judgment was passed. Now that you've made it, now that it's a new day, what will you do in 2021 every day that you wake up? Because as you're sowing seeds, when 2022 gets here, this is what 2022 is going to be about. I'm telling you right now, trust me on this. I, if you don't take anything else from this podcast, take this. 2022 will be about justice. If you put good energy out in 2021, then when justice comes around in 2022, you will reap a harvest. You will. 2022 will be justice. If you misused the opportunity that was given to you in 2021 when judgment was passed that allowed you to make it into 2021, that allowed you to make it through 2020, that the universe deemed you worthy to go into 2021. And if you misuse that, where you were given a second chance, when 2022 gets here, expect justice. But will 
the scales balance for good or will the scales balance for bad? I don't know because I'm not you. That's going to be your choice. We all have free will. Yes, the universe does stuff behind the scenes to create certain things to give us the opportunities when we make requests of the universe. Even then, there is still free will. There's always a choice. You can always choose to go in a different direction. Even though, if you would have went in this direction, you would have went towards what you asked the universe for. Some people do that. Some people take long detours <laughs> to get to their destination. I'm guilty of that myself. But also some of my detours have been divine detours as well, which divine detours, it's just the way it was. It, it had to happen that way. But yeah, these three cards, we have death, transformation, rebirth, things changing, judgment was passed after death, second chances, you made it to 2021, it's a new day, 2022, we're going to have justice. That's what we're going to have in 2022. So just be mindful again. And I know people are like, KC, you have been saying this for the past week or two. Yeah, because I'm trying to drill it in your head. I'm really trying to drill this in your head. Twenty twenty one is a major year is more major than people realize. Be aware of the seeds that you sow in 2021. It is a new day. Judgment has been passed. You've been given a second chance to make it into this year. Anything that you did in 2020 that was questionable, <laughs> Leaving the 2020, it's dead. The death card. Don't worry about it. Even for the things where karma may be involved and it may come back around. Don't worry about it. Because even if you did some things that were questionable in 2020, and let's say karma does get involved, which is a possibility, if you sow good seeds, if you sow positive energy in 2021, that will help your scales balance out in 2022. Where you might break even. But one thing you don't want to do is where it's uneven and not in your favor. When the scales come to balance in 2022, when justice happens to those who did questionable things. So just keep that in mind. Regardless, like I said before, it's a new day. It's the 1st of January you made it. You're here. Now, what will you do for this new day and for this new year? You have free will. It's up to you. Anyways, that's all I have for my daily thought. I hope everyone enjoys their new year day. I hope everyone will continue to have an amazing year. I can't wish you a perfect year because things 
life isn't perfect. <laughs> But I can wish you an amazing new year. Thank you to everyone who's taken the time to listen to my podcast. I, I really appreciate it. In 2020, I, I looked at the countries where people listen to my podcast and it's, it's really, really cool. So I appreciate you guys for that and gals. So again, I think that's all I have. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Of course, Anchor which I'm sure you hear the commercial during the beginning of the podcast, every time it plays. So, cause they are my sponsor. And then this podcast is also on Spotify. It's on Google. It's on Apple. It's on iHeartRadio. It's on Pandora and many others. So yeah, K-I-R-W-K-C on Instagram. I upload episodes as well on IGTV. Facebook.com forward slash K-I-R-W-K-C. If you're watching this on YouTube or Daily Motion, don't forget to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. That will let you know when I upload new videos. I'm really happy for everyone. I'm really happy right now. I'm happy because everyone who made it into 2021 here on New Year's Day, that they made it. So I'm happy for them. So yeah, until next time, be blessed.